Who are you? I didn't ask you what your religion was. I'm asking, who are you? Because it seems today that everybody's having an identity crisis. And they're running to religion and saying, hey, I'm Baptist. I'm Protestant. I'm Muslim. I'm Catholic. You are crazy. Who are you? I didn't ask you what your religion was. I'm asking, who are you? It seems that with this identity crisis, that if I walked around America today and asked everybody who they was, and ran into somebody and said, excuse me, sir, who are you? And he said, Ying Yong, Jing Jong, Ping Pong. And I said, what kind of name was that? He was saying, Chinese. And if I ever have to leave America, I'm going back to China, to the land of Lei Yu. So I go to another man and I ask him, what is your name? And he says, Kawasaki. And I said, what kind of name is that? He says, Japanese. And if I ever have to leave America, I'm going back to Japan. Now I turn around and I ask another man, what's your name? And he says, John Pierre. And if I ever have to leave America, I'm going back to France. So I turn around and I ask another man, what's his name? He says, Guten Morgen. And I said, man, what kind of name is that? He says, oh, that's German. And if I ever have to leave America, I'm going back to Germany. So I turn around, I see another man, I ask him, what's your name? And he says, Gonzalez. And I have a couple of choices. If I ever have to leave America, I'm going either back to Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, or back to Spain. So I turn around and I ask another man the same question. And he says to me, his name is Hamilton. So I asked Mr. Hamilton, you know, because he looks American and blonde hair, blue eyes. And I said, Mr. Hamilton, what kind of name is that? He said, it's English. And if the Indians are ever bad enough to take this country and this land back, I'm going back to England. So that's when I turn around, I see a dark skinned man. All right, you know, tall and dark and black. I say, hey man, what's your name? He says, La Boomba. So I say, what kind of name is that? He said, African, it's a tribal, tribal name. And if I ever have to leave America, I'm going back to my tribal land. Now it seems like it's apparent that everybody out here has a place to go in a country and identity to that country that they could adapt to and they know. A language that also goes with that country. They have a food, they have everything that goes with the country that they are from that's out here in America. But there's only one small group of people that we can't say African American because African American came up in the 60s with Jack, Jesse Jackson. And these little small group of people can't go back to Africa because the Africans don't want these people because they said that they'll turn the, the jungle in, in, into a prostitute house, be sitting underneath the tree playing chess and checkers and dominoes and, and, and getting the girls pregnant and just a running off. Oh no, you'll never teach none of those people out there in Africa cuss words and, and how to swear and do this and hustle and gamble and, and everything else and all the bad stuff. And just the scratching and itching on the tree like they do, you know, now you just to be a scratching. So we ain't African. And it seems like these group of people went through an identity crisis themselves because half of them were first were called Negroes, African American, Afrocentric. Even with all the bar words, they still was having an identity crisis. So who are these people? 
Because in the scriptures it says that I shall take you out again for what you have done in slave ships. They didn't have no ships back then. There wasn't nobody shipping. They was walking and whatever ships they used, the river was this. But there were a bunch of ships that they used with yokes of iron around their neck. So who are all these people? First you need to ask yourself, who are you? Because if you don't know who you are and you're trying to be of something, hey, I'm Muslim. Oh, so I guess since you're saying that you're Muslim, that you must know that your family and your generation came from nomads because the nomads split up in two sections. You have some of them that are Middle Eastern and some of them that are European. And what did the nomads do? The nomads used to kill and sacrifice little girl babies. So we know we have races and nations that did that practice. Was that ever of Yahweh, the one true God, the ancient God of the Hebrews, that the whole world has fashioned their religion and their economic or means, their political means off of? Seems like we got Protestant, Catholic, Muslim, Judaism, Baptist, Mormonism, and I know all the secrets and the misms about the isms. But who are you? So first you need to find out who you are and stop having an identity crisis, what you are a part of. Because it first says, and he states that you must believe because only through him. Because without him, the son, you shall not talk or have the father. Because the one and two are combined. So who are you? And as far as I'm concerned, 2,500 years ago, it also stated that Lucifer can also be an angel of light. So don't be fooled. For those are fooled, those are not of my flock or my sheep. And for what I do know and through the scriptures, for those who know, he used to send blab. A billy goat up to the mountains. So who are you? Maybe we may we might need to look at our genetics because there's been a reversal in the world. What is, isn't, and what isn't actually is. And it seems like there's a, some confusion going on with the who are you and the who are they should be. Because even the Gentiles that know are taking advantage of the situation because they're not acting as of, as if the word of God, the one true God, Yahweh. And then we have others that think that by grace they are saved because they shall believe but they don't have to follow the law. So who are you? Because thus it say in Romans that the Gentiles shall take it and fashion it to their own liking. Looks like it's been going on since the beginning of time. Satan's been trying to enslave the human race by whitewashing and making them feel like they're gods and they can go and do this, that, and the third. We've had others that have been trying to take the religion and, and, and politically and economically fashion it to their own liking. So who are you? And we already know that these group of little Israelites and some of the lost souls and the lost ones that are still out there, if they can sell something and, 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 and let somebody get into what they got to be a part of this, you know, they'll do it real quick. It happened in Maccabees. It was forewarned in the Old Testament. It's been going on since the beginning of time. So who are you?